Now, of course, uh, the book was assailed when it came out in 1982 and in the movie yeah, 1985 <laughs> about, uh, about the uh, violence and, and particularly mm -hmm. perpetrated by the men. The women yeah. appear to be, yeah. you know, at first glance, so very submissive mm -hmm. and, and the men are dominant and most right. of them are abusers. They are. Um, so a lot of people feel very strongly that this was male bashing and mm -hmm. specifically black male bashing. And I'll say that my friend who accompanied me to this production said, I really like this story, mm -hmm. but boy, I get tired of I seeing do. our men portrayed in this way. I agree. I do. I felt that way. Some people have the perspective that, you know, art is art and people should be able to express themselves. They should not be, um, you know, prohibited from sharing whatever they want to share. But then I also feel artists, has, we, as an artist and as a people, and some artists, people say, well, you know, you know, white people don't have to worry about those types of things, so why do we have to? Well, we do, you know? Like, that's how it is in this country. You know, we have to really worry about, because we have different, different obstacles that we, we deal with as a people, and we have to be very careful as to what we present to our, our children and our community. So that was definitely a struggle for me, um, doing the production, the portrayal of um, black men as being abusive. But again, I think in reading the book, I, I got a, a larger perspective of everything. And I realized that if you look at these times and the times that we're dealing with, like, I think women in, women in general was fighting for freedom and liberation at this time. It wasn't just something that black women were fighting for. It wasn't something that black men were only doing, you know? Um, in fact, I think on a lot of levels that black people were kind of emulating, the black men were emulating the behavior that they saw on the plantation towards the, towards the black women. So I, and I also feel like there's a, there is a, there is a transformation that takes place um, with Mr. in the play. I think there's a transformation that takes place with Harpo, because Harpo is someone in the story who is very much unlike the other males in the story, where you know, while, while Mr. is saying that Sophia is, woo, her family, crazy, her sisters are crazy. Why are they crazy? Because they outspoken, they ain't dealing with your crap. That's why they're crazy. But he loves, to, he loves her. But I think that he's, he's, he's conflicted with the social constructs of the time in terms of the way women are supposed to be. And um, I think that's part, that, that is part of the struggle that leads Harpo and Sophia to to part, but then at the end they come back together. And then if you, if you see them in the musical, you see how silly, I mean, Mister's kind of like almost jealous of his son and, and when he begins to plead and talk about Miss Silly's curse. Harpo's happy, well, he, why he happy, you know? So I think that, um, I think that this story is a, a lot larger than that, at least, at least the musical in the book.